Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac React. Today we're going to be getting into the new Morbius trailer that dropped. And honestly, this one's going to be pretty interesting because, you know, we, we've already seen the Venom movie and, you know, there was no allusion to it being in the MCU or anything like that. But now this is another Sony take on a Spider-Man villain. So it's going to be really interesting to see if, you know, this one is in the Venomverse if it's just its own thing or if eventually both of these movies will tie into the MCU. But either way, I'm pretty excited, you know, because in the Venom movie, we did get uh, Tom Hardy as Venom. And then so now in this one, we're going to be getting Jared Leto as Morbius. So this is going to be pretty interesting, but I think we're both just excited to see what happens and see where these movies go. Yeah, I got to be honest, when I first heard that Jared Leto is going to be starring in this Morbius movie, I was a little worried because I feel like half the time I see him and stuff, I, I love him. And then the other half of the time, I kind of hate him. So <laughs> you never really know what you're going to get with this guy. So, you know, fingers crossed we love him in this movie. Um, I am pretty familiar with the character of Morbius. Most of my knowledge of him comes from the Spider-Man animated series that came out a long time ago. Um, I grew up with that show, so I do know of this character, so it'll be interesting to see what they keep, what's similar, and what's changed, what's different. Now I do know that Morbius is like a vampire villain to Spider-Man, um, so I'm a little curious as to why they're dropping this now as, as opposed to like before Halloween season, you know, it's a little weird that they did it like right after Halloween ended. Um, but I guess they didn't want to compete with like Dune and Venom 2 and the James Bond movie and Eternals is coming out soon. So there, there was a lot of movies that came out in this window. So I guess it is a smart decision by them to kind of postpone it or push it a little bit. Um, but regardless, I think we're excited to get into this. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We're ready to get into it. So let's do it. Morbius. Let's do it. Whoa, was that him flying around? Whoa, it was. You need a doctor? I am a doctor. <laughs> you could still need a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> People all over the world have my disease. From you. To find a cure, we have to push the boundaries, take the risks. What? If you're gonna run, do it now. What? He summoned the bats. Oh my gosh, how dope. Dr. Michael Morbius, you've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off Long Island. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Uh-oh. Oh. They're flexing the Spider-Man stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got swole. He got swole. <laughs> Bat radar? Echolocation? Yeah. Oh. That is Whoa, cool. Okay. That's the type of shit I wanted to see. Fuck yeah. There's something inside of me. Ooh. Whoa, dude. Half the city wants to kill you. We haven't had anything this good since that thing in San Francisco. That's the doctor. Oh, he said the thing in San Francisco. Oh, oh, Venom. That was homeboy from Spider Man. He was the vulture. Oh, shit. Whoa. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? Oh, okay. Let's oh, wow. go. Damn. Who the hell are you, Ma? I am. 
<laughs> he said, I am Venom? Yeah. <laughs> They're like really flexing the fact that they made Venom. <laughs> wow. They, they okay. alluded to him earlier in the trailer too. He, he said... The San Francisco the, thing. Yeah, the thing from San Francisco. Yeah, so... So we did get our answer. Uh, it is in the Venom verse because they did say, um, first of all, you know, I am Venom, right? Like right at the end. And then he did allude to the San Francisco thing, which I'm assuming was Eddie Brock and yeah. Venom and everything. Yeah. Okay. Dope. <laughs> uh, but he also, they also had Michael Keaton, it looked like, in this. I didn't, I see that scene. I was, I was looking at something else, but I would like to go back because I didn't see Michael Keaton. But he was a Batman like... A while ago, right? No, I'm not even talking about Batman. He was Vulture in uh, the first Spider-Man in Homecoming. Oh, that's right. He was the villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it looked like he was in jail from from what oh, happened. Oh, yeah. So it looked like they might be trying to connect this to the MCU as well. Oh my gosh, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty crazy. Honestly, this trailer looked really good. I did like Jared Leto as this character so far, like from what I saw. I thought he did pretty well. He didn't look as cringy as he can sometimes be. There it is, yeah. He looked pretty normal, like, I don't know. And the CGI for like him going in and out. A lot of it, uh, yeah, the CGI of him like turning did look cool, but a lot of it I saw did just look like makeup. It did look like like prosthetics and stuff, like, yeah. real, like real stuff, you know? Which so. honestly, I think helps make it look better too uh -huh. when they do a little bit of CGI mixed with a little bit of the you know, like real actual makeup on them. I think mixing those two makes it good. Now, I know you're not really familiar with the animated series mm -mm. or with the character at all, right? No, but I love but him. But he, he does, I was surprised he does look a, like a lot like the character from the animated series. Yeah. It's like very accurate. I do enjoy that from Sony at least. Like Venom looked very accurate to how I think he should look. Yeah. And now Morbius too, I'm seeing like, wow, that, yeah, that does look like him. That's pretty cool. So. Dude, it was pretty cool that his face, every time he would go into like his Mobius form, right? Like he looked like a bat. Like his nose was all like pushed up yeah. and everything. He looked scary. That's how he looks like in the show too. So I Dang thought it. that was really cool. That I'm going to have to go back and like watch that. this animated series for spider-man man it sounds pretty cool i thought his powers looked cool too because i'm assuming like only he sees like the echolocation and stuff right but i do like that they visualized it for us to to see what it what it, he sees yeah know? i thought that was really cool and so we saw him fly twice we saw yes. it in the tunnel when he's in like an orange jumpsuit so it looks like he's getting out of somewhere yeah. and then later off of a building and you can see some like purple aura coming off of him mm. that looked awesome oh my gosh like this cool vampire creature and then having like the purple colors and smoky effect that looked awesome i was worried when i heard that this movie was coming out that it was going to be a lot of jared leto and like not much morbius mm. but after seeing this trailer i'm pretty surprised and optimistic that it's going to be more morbius stuff I'm, I'm hoping they get through that like going to the jungle and turning into morbius you know well through halfway through the movie i don't want it to stretch towards the end of the movie that's you know? what i thought too because like if you look in the trailer i mean we get like maybe one or two scenes of them in the jungle and then the rest of it is really just about him learning about his powers him dealing with the repercussions of these powers yeah. and then basically like his journey through being like an anti-hero right so that's going to be pretty cool. I think it might just happen in the beginning and then the rest of it is going to be a lot of Morbius. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty exciting because I know when they take too long, like dragging a story or like a character story arc out, it just, I lose interest, but it looked pretty cool. I'm excited. I, I did kind of have that criticism with Venom. Like it took a long time for him to actually like get to being Venom. Yeah. But the thing with Venom is he's kind of, uh, he's got his own personality himself. Yeah. And so even when you don't physically see Venom, you still like hear him in Eddie's mind. Yes. Or he, he can like come out of Eddie and like talk to him like, yeah. outside of his body. And then of course he can turn into him. So, so my fear was, yeah, this movie was going to be not enough morbius and like too much jared leto which does which it doesn't look like that's a good thing i think i'm excited hell yeah i'm excited for that one 
All right, guys, well, I think that's gonna do it for us. We had a lot of fun watching this trailer. If there was anything we missed from this, make sure you leave it down in the comments. And if there's any Morbius facts that you think we should know, you know, before we get into this movie, because we're not like super versed on this character, make sure you leave it in the comments too, because you know we love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below and follow our Instagram for more updates on the channel. And as always, guys, y'all are the best. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.